I personally love duck because I think uh, duck has a better flavor than chicken. Hi, my name is Andrew Chiu. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Tunlop Group and also Duckland. So about five years ago, I brought in this uh, Irish duck, introduced by a friend of mine. He said, you know, hey Andrew, you should try this Irish duck. It's very different. So I said, okay. So I tasted it and I found it to be fragrant, very tender. Uh, it's not gamey at all. After tasting it, trying it with our own method, I was totally overwhelmed uh, by the result. Finally, we found the most ideal duck. That is their tagline, you know, Silver Hill Duck, best duck in the world. I would say Duckland is the result of my visit to Ireland uh, last November and I visited uh, Silver Hill Farm. The CEO of the company uh, showed me around from, from ev every part of it. I was, I was totally impressed. Uh, the duck are actually quite well fed. They only eat three kinds of grain, the wheat, the maize and soybean, nothing else. The duck house is not smelly as, uh, as what I expected earlier. The hygiene is really first class. We only use uh, 43 days old duck because after that, uh, the, the feather of the duck will harden. Then it will make it very difficult to pluck. When the feather hardens, you tend to damage the skin as well. So 43 days is the best. And then come to the selection of the duck. The duck has to be about the same size, from 2.6 to 2.7 kilo per duck. That's what we are going for. With no scar, no damage on the skin. So we are very, very particular about that. The dishes that I'll be serving today is none other than the roast duck, duck fried rice, duck spaghetti, fish and chips. Last but not least, the duck confit and waffle. Okay, first of all, of course, uh, the selection of the duck. You have to select a duck which is perfect, clean, without any wound. You marinate the duck in herbs and spices for one day. After that, blow the duck in the low temperature room or 5 to 8 degrees. For one more day, the duck will be ready to be sent to the restaurant for roasting. The result is a very crispy and light duck skin. The taste is amazing. First of all, you need to have a steamed duck rice, just like chicken rice. Uh, this is duck rice and the difference is that we put some corn in the rice to give our customer a hint that maize is one of the food they fed the duck with. Remember, it's maize, soybean and wheat. We just fry the steamed duck rice again, of course with diced roast duck and other ingredients. And the result is a very, very aromatic, different from any other fried rice. For spaghetti duck bolognese, it is actually uh, similar to the beef bolognese. Uh, instead of using beef, we use duck. That's all. Yeah. The difference is we use a lot of uh, fresh tomato and a lot more spices. Fish and chips is one of our signature dish in this restaurant. And we use uh, baramundi. You know, baramundi is very good tasting, different from uh, normal sea bass. First, we have to marinate the fish with spices and uh, herbs. We have a special batter which we make in house. Uh, the result is a very crispy skin. We serve our fish and chips with duck fat fries. It's excellent with beer or with stout or with uh, Guinness. You know, the fries that you fry with a uh, pure duck fat and a vegetable oil. The biggest difference is the aroma and also Irish duck fat is known to be monounsaturated, so it is a healthy fat. Duck confit is a French origin. They also select you know, the best Thai, the duck Thai. You marinate with spices and herbs for one day. Then the next day, put it in the container, cover it with duck fat, cook in the low temperature of 40 degrees for 12 hours. The duck confit is ready to be pan again to finish. I met the Irish minister, Ms. Heather Humphreys. She is the minister for uh, business, enterprise and innovation. We had a very good meeting. She actually uh, encouraged me to do something with the excellent product of Ireland. Not just Silver Hill duck, but also other products. Irish beef, Irish pork, even the Irish seafood. So I told her, you know, actually we have been using a lot of Irish products in Singapore without knowing. Perhaps the time is right you know, for me to set up something that really specializes in excellent Irish products.